Tour season brings adjustment demands for our favorite wrestlers. Hard traveling for a fairly relaxed show one day. Then no traveling but hard stable training the next. Here's the latest stable training news. Arashio Stable keeps magnetizing. On Monday, attracting Meisei and Nishikigi for practice. Meisei, who fought 12 times, said, Everyone was really up for it, and I had a great session against all those different styles. Casting his 1 and 7 browbeating by Wakataka Kage aside, he said, I'm not so worried about scores more about particular ways of losing and how to prevent them. He's also worked hard on his gym training, aligning sessions with physio so as to work round the tour schedule. Wakataka Kage, who topped that session with 13 and 2, said, I moved myself about as usual, gave myself a proper workout, and stuck to my style. I'm no longer content with 8 or 9 wins a tournament. Double figures is more of a must these days. Tuesday took me to Hanaregoma Stable, where Ichi Yamamoto and Shimazu Umi traded wins, most of Yamamoto's coming on the back foot at the rope. It seems Yamamoto's fighting more than in August, and in slightly better condition. Waka Kinsho, meanwhile, who suffered this knock last time, is also back fighting, though not in complete comfort. He insists, though, he'll be ready for November. Wednesday saw five visiting wrestlers converge on Arashio. Meisei again, with colleague Ho Shoryu. Nishikigi again. Onosho and Takanosho. And it seems for another walloping by Wakataka Kage, who went 13 and 3. His arm block and grip were rock solid, reports say, as he won 8 bouts straight at one stage. Spirit is everything, he said with November in sight. I can't let myself be beaten for spirit, as I know that if my style prevails, I can usually win. Sumo chiefs are desperate to have him up to Ozeki, which is why they order him to pose for pictures and force him to mix with fans. He'll never do that himself. Horshaw Yu, meanwhile, went on national TV to prepare for his rise to the top, as he'd say. An invite to the Sanma Palace hosted by Japan's top comedian, is quite a coup. Naturally, his uncle's name came up. I constantly struggle to do what he advises, he frankly confessed. The guy's just a genius. I can't catch up. For someone in Japan but seven and a half years, his Japanese, though slightly accented, is very good indeed. Wednesday also saw Takayasu, as his recent custom, head to Sadogatake Stable for intense training with Kotonowaka, their session ending 15-4 in his favour. His two-day resort break with family must have recharged him well. Despite the eight-year age gap, his stamina far outlasted Waka's, and even extended into post-session chest lending. I'm pushing him hard as he can only get better. Ozeki Yokozuna could be in reach, was Takayasu's seal of approval for young Kotonowaka. And the ex Ozeki wants that cup for himself in November. Despite no details on Kotoshoho's regime, Kotonowaka did say he is hoping to rejoin the tour, but no guarantees. Next stop, Yamanashi on Saturday.